hard to get up here with some snow on top of mud without the four-wheel drive working. Get all that ice on the wood. Probably an eighth to a quarter inch thick there. The coating there. These two pieces are stuck together. Hi, and welcome back to Purple Collar Life. I'm Chad. In today's video, we're talking about how much firewood we've burned so far this winter. Now. Right off the bat here, I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer. When I take the rest of this out of this tote, load it in the back of the Ranger, haul it to the basement, let that surface moisture dry out, which I made a whole video about, I'll put a link to that up above, and put it in the fire. Once I burn through this, that's one cord. Today's recording date is January 26th. You'll probably see this sometime in February, but as of January 26th, I'm taking the last of one cord of firewood into the basement. Now let's talk a little bit about that so you understand what kind of wood stove we have, how often we burn, because all of that is relevant information. This particular tote is a good mix of cherry and oak. It is pretty close to 50-50. There is another species of wood in here that's not cherry or oak. It's that one type of tree, I'm not sure what it is, but that's just maybe 10 pieces or so of what's left in here. You can see this section that I'm pulling out now, mostly cherry, but some oak. So if you're thinking, hey, it's basically the end of January when you're recording this and you've only burned one cord of wood, that's not very much. You're absolutely right. Now to fill you in, if you're new to the channel, we burn firewood in a catalytic combustion buck stove. It's very efficient. So that's part of why we haven't burned that much wood, but probably the main part is it's been a pretty mild winter here in northwest Pennsylvania. Not super cold, hardly any snow. We start burning the fire sometime in October usually, definitely by November because the temperatures are cool enough. Look at this good red oak. That'll be nice to burn. But we actually burn more wood February and March typically than we do November, December, January. So we'll see if that's the case again this year. But we're pacing towards only burning maybe two and a half, three cords of wood this winter, which would be good because that would let our stockpile build up a little bit, get maybe a year in advance, a couple years in advance. Oh yeah, lots of good oak here at the bottom. The other thing that affects how much wood we burn in addition to the weather and the temperature is how much we're home. And we've been traveling a little bit. I've been traveling a lot for work. So when I'm not home, the fire's not going as much. 
but definitely when I am home in these winter days, even if it's rainy and 37 degrees out, I've got a fire going. So if we had an outdoor wood stove, outdoor wood burner, I know friends in the area, same climate as us, who have already burned through three or four cords of firewood. We're just finishing up one cord here with our inside wood stove. Catalytic combustion really increases the efficiency. Okay, the toad is empty. The ranger's full. I'm gonna haul this down and unload it into the basement. Okay, so I'll show you how I stacked this in here. This is the wood that had snow on it. It's just got a little bit of surface moisture on it. We'll hit it with the fan and a dehumidifier. It'll dry out pretty quickly. Over here is mostly that nice red oak, some cherry, pieces that had very little or no snow or moisture on them ready to go into the stove right now. And then down here on the floor are those pieces that had that really thick layer of ice on them. No sense in letting that drip across the rest of the wood, so we'll let those dry out here on the floor first before we add them to the stack. So there we go, the rest of that tote unloaded, stacked inside. Like I said, we're at the end of January and we're at the one cord mark burning in our buck stove. Those of you that heat with wood, leave those comments down below how much wood you've used so far at this point in the year, how much you expect to use the rest of the year. I think for the rest of the winter, we'll probably go through at least one more cord. Like I said, typically we burn more in February and March and the start of April than we do at the start of winter. It gets a little bit colder here, we get more snow. So I do expect we'll burn more. I'm guessing that total for the year will be somewhere around three cords that we've burnt this winter, but I'll keep you posted as we keep going. This was the first one and we kind of took our time using this first cord. Like I said, pretty mild winter so far, not much snow, and we've been traveling and not burning the stove as much. Leave those comments down below how much wood you've used. And also you should probably note in those comments whether you have an outside wood boiler, which we know uses more wood, or if you have an inside wood stove like ours that's catalytic, inside wood stove that's not catalytic, it'll be interesting to see at this point um, how much wood different people have burned. Of course, the region you're in will also affect it. So leave, I guess, three things to leave below. How much wood you've burned so far, what type of stove you burn it in, and what your geographic region is. Thanks, I think everyone will enjoy those comments. Glad to be done with the first cord. Looking forward to many more warm wood fires in the future. If this video informed or entertained you at all, we'd appreciate if you'd give us a thumbs up. Leave those comments down below. Share with your friends, and we'll see you again the next time.